Welcome, YouTubers, to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the multiplication and division rules with which you must be familiar in order to be successful on the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to discuss how to multiply and divide with positive and negative numbers, as well as how to multiply and divide with 1 and 0. In order to get the most out of today's video, I strongly encourage you to uh, pause the video when I get to the practice problems, attempt to work those practice problems out on your own, and then resume playing the video to check your solutions. So all those things being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. As you can see, all the rules I'm going to discuss today are highlighted in yellow. And this first one says, the product and the quotient of one and any number is that number. This is called the identity property of multiplication and division. So for example, uh, 7 times 1 is 7. 100 divided by 1 is 100. Again, uh, the product and quotient of 1 and any number is simply that number. Uh, so if I had a million and I divided it by 1, according to this rule, we know the answer is just going to be 1 million. Okay, and similarly, if I had, let's say, let's say I had 3,000, and I multiplied it by 1, according to this rule, we know the, the product's going to be 3,000. Again, anything times 1 is that number. Anything divided by 1 is that number. Okay, so those things being said, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next rule. 0 times any number equals zero. So for example, zero times two is zero. 858 times zero is zero. Okay. Likewise, zero divided by any non-zero number is zero. So for example, zero divided by three is zero. Uh, let's look at another example. Let's say we had uh, zero divided by 100. According to this rule, we know that this uh, result is going to be 0. Okay. Uh, dividing a number by 0 is undefined. And as we can see, 5 divided by 0 equals undefined. So let's use this example again. Let's say we had 100 and we divided it by 0. Uh, we know that it's going to be undefined find. Okay. So finally, let's talk about uh, how to multiply and divide uh, positive and negative numbers. In case you haven't done this by hand in a very long time, uh, you can figure out how to do this using the signs chart. And as you can see, uh, we use the signs chart for multiplication as well as division. And the way you use it is this. If you have a positive number times a positive number, you know the product is going to be positive. Similarly, if you have a positive number divided by a positive number, you know the result's going to be positive. If you have a positive multiplied or divided by a negative, the result's negative. If you have a negative multiplied or divided by a positive, the result's going to be negative. And if you have a negative multiplied or divided by a negative, the result's going to be positive. Okay? So let's use the science chart to figure out some of these practice problems. Uh, for this first problem, you can see we have 54 times 2. Uh, that is to say we have a positive times a positive. So we know the product of these two numbers is also going to be positive. So let's go ahead and work that out. Again, that's 54 times 2. Many of you could probably work this out in your head, but uh, I'm going to work everything out for today's video. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 2 is 10. So 54 times 2, in other words, is 108. For number 2, we have uh, positive 6 times negative 5. So uh, let's look at the signs chart. Again, this first integer is positive, so we know it's there. Uh, this next integer is negative, so we know it's there. So we know the product of these two integers is going to be negative. So 6 times 5, we should know this from our, sign, our 
times tables is negative 30. All right. Number three says negative 57 times 6. Again, we have a negative number times a positive number. So we know the product is going to be uh, negative. Uh, let's go ahead and work this one out. This is negative 57 times 6. 7 times 6 is 42. So drop down your 2. Carry your 4. Uh, 6 times 5, as we just saw, was 30. Plus 4 is 34. So this is negative 342. And finally, we have uh, negative 9 times negative 10. That is, we have a negative times a negative. So we know uh, the product of these two is going to be positive, according to the science chart. So negative 9 times negative 10 is going to be positive 90. Okay, let's move on to uh, division. And I'm going to change colors. Uh, that way, uh, the results are distinct. For this first one, we have 7 divided by 2. That is, we have a positive divided by a positive. So we know the result's going to be positive. Uh, let's go ahead and work this out. We're going to need to use some long division. Again, this is 7 divided by 2. So now we're asking ourselves, how many times does uh, 2 go into 7 without going over? That is 3 times, given that 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Uh, 2 doesn't go into 1, so we have to add a 0. And when we do that, we have to bring up a decimal place. 2 goes into uh, 10 5 times. 2 times 5 is 10. So we can see there's no remainder. In other words, uh, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. All right, number 6 says uh, 33 divided by negative 5. Again, we have positive 33 divided by negative 5. So we know the quotient or result is going to be negative, according to the science chart. But that said, let's go ahead and work this out. Again, we have 33 divided by negative 5. Uh, we know the quotient's going to be negative, so let's just go ahead and throw our negative uh, up there already. 5 goes into 33 uh, 6 times without going over, given that 5 times 6 is 30. 33 minus uh, 30 is 3. 5 doesn't go into 3, so we have to bring in a 0. And when we do so, we have to bring up a decimal. 5 goes into... Uh, 30, as we've seen in this video twice now, uh, 6 times without going over, 5 times 6 is 30 evenly. So we can see there's no remainder. So 33 divided by negative 5 is negative 6.6. .6. Okay? All right, for number 7, we have negative 50 divided by 4. That is, we have a negative divided by a positive. So we know the quotient, our result's going to be negative. Let's go ahead and work this out. Again, we have negative 50 divided by 4. Again, we know the quotient is going to be negative, so let's go ahead and put that up there already. Uh, 4 goes into 50 12 times without going over. 4 times 12 is 48. Uh, 50 minus 48 is uh, 2. 4 doesn't go into 2, so we have to add a 0. And in doing so, we're going to have to bring up a decimal here. Uh, 4 goes into uh, 20 5 times without going over. 4 times 5 is 20. So we can see there's no remainder. In other words, negative uh, 50 divided by positive 4 is negative 12.5. All right, for number 8, we have negative 9 divided by negative 10. That is, we have a negative divided by negative. So we know the quotient or the result's going to be positive, as we can see from the science chart. Uh, again, we have negative 9 divided by negative 10. Again, we know the result's positive, so we can disregard these signs if we want to. Now we're asking ourselves, how many times does 10 go into 9? It doesn't. We have to add a 0 because of that. And when we add that 0, we bring up a decimal now. 10 goes into 90 9 times without going over. 9 times 10 is 90. So we can see there's no remainder there. 
In other words, negative 9 divided by negative 10 is 0.9. Okay? All right, for these, I'm not going to refer back to the signs chart. Um, I'm just going to work them out. Again, we have uh, 7 divided by 1. Again, anything divided by or multiplied by 1 is just that number. So 7 divided by 1 is 7. Uh, 33 times 0. Anything times 0 is 0. So 33 times 0 is 0. Uh, for number 11, we have 0 divided by 4. Uh, again, that looks like this as a fraction, if you prefer seeing it that way. Anything uh, 0 divided by any non-zero number is 0, as you may recall from above. And finally, we have negative 9 divided by 0. Again, let's take a look at these two. Zeros in the numerator, so it equals 0. Whenever zeros in the denominator, we know this is undefined. Okay, so that's all the practice for this video. Let me stress this. Uh, in order to be successful on the ASVAB, you also have to know your multiplication table, uh, which is going to aid you with doing uh, multiplication and division uh, mentally. Uh, here it is in case you need it. But again, this is something most people learn in fourth grade. Uh, that said, if for some reason you forgot this, uh, try to memorize this as well as the science chart. Uh, if you don't know these two things, it's really going to be hard for you to do well on this test. So uh, that is it for today's video. It's one of my shorter videos, thankfully. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, as always, you're more than welcome to leave some feedback in the comment section below. Uh, but on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut you loose. Konnichiwa. Oh, 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 oh,